Welcome to the Bath, Fizz, and Foam YouTube channel. My name is Robin French-Smith, and today we're gonna talk about the Chunk of Dust Embed Maker. This is a quick and easy way to make embeds for bath bombs. So the first thing I'm going to do is, that is a little cup of warm distilled water, and I'm adding my water-soluble dyes directly to that. That is going to be red 27 water soluble dye and I am adding that to that warm water the warm water um, helps it dissolve like the warmth helps it dissolve and then FDNC batch certified dyes like this one from nurture soap are activated by water so this is basically called quick blooming and blooming is a process of opening up the color of the dye so that when you add it to your mix, it's not pale. And um, this is just, I don't use dyes that often, but this is that's my preferred method of using dyes is to do a quick bloom like that. In that bowl, I have my powder embed mix, plus I just added a little bit of oil. Not um, every maker adds oil to their embed mix. I like to add a little bit of oil because I'm in Houston and it's humid. Oh man, look at my glove. That is a, that is an advocacy for you guys to please use gloves. I see people making bath palms all the time without using gloves and posting pictures of their stained fingers like, oh my God, please use gloves. It's, this stuff will die, it will die, it will die your hands four days. I had one drop of this dye land on my foot and I had like a hot pink drop on my foot for days. Okay, so I added that um, dye mix to my dry powder embed mix and I gave it a whirl in my stand mixer. I prefer to use a stand mixer just because it saves me time, it saves me energy and honestly it just it's so much easier, it's so much more thorough. Now dyes are super concentrated and I don't wanna let any of that color go to waste. So I'm actually using the mix and I'm putting the mix into that little jar and I'm just kind of scraping out any additional color that I can get because I don't want any of it to go to waste. And I sped it up a little bit because I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me scraping a jar out. <laughs> like that's kind of boring. So I'm going to give that one more little spin in my mixer, which I did right there. And I'm adding my citric acid now. Waiting to add my citric acid means that I have more working time. Okay, so I let it mix up in my mixer with my citric acid. And there is my mix. And you can see it does have that wet sand texture. Um, and honestly, embeds to me feel more like kinetic sand than like actual like bath bomb wet sand texture. Like it's a weird texture and it's definitely something that kind of takes some getting used to. Okay, so this embed maker is a seven by seven embed maker. It has this little lip um, or edge that you use to push the embeds out and you wanna make sure that the flat side is facing down on the flat side of the tray. That will help you later when you go to push the embeds out. So I'm filling the embed maker up with mix. I don't want to press it in too tightly, but I also don't want to leave it too loose. It's just kind of something that you will get the feel of after you've been doing it for a while. If you pack it too tightly, then it's really hard to push the embeds out. Like, So if you find that you go to push the embeds out, it's gonna be one of two things. It's either gonna be that that little lip that I showed you at the beginning is turned the wrong way, where the angle uh, was turned towards the flat side of the mold, and then that makes it really hard to push out. Um, or it's gonna be that you pushed too much mix into those little cavities and then that makes it really hard to push out. So it's gonna be one of those two things. And now I'm going around all the way around the edges and you see me spinning the mold. So I'm making sure to press evenly all the way around the edges. I'm giving pressure in the middle, kind of the sides. You just wanna make sure that you're giving some even pressure all the way around. And then I'm gonna remove the flat top plate. And I'm just gonna spin it as I gently press on the sides. And I'm going to just keep going all the way around. You don't want to try to push it down in one fell swoop. That's really not going to work very well for you. 
It's easier if you just kind of gradually push all the way around as you're going and then it just sort of snaps out of place. Now, I'm kind of a perfectionist a little bit, <laughs> so I like to try to keep them all kind of in a line and afterwards when I'm done, I'll go back and like straighten them just because that means I can fit more embeds on my tray at a time. But you can actually just dump them straight out of the mold. Like you don't have to flip them over on the top like that. That's just something that I do um, as part of my process. So there you go. I'm kind of knocking the mix out of the little crevices. And then I'm going to speed it up and I'm going to repeat the process. So one of the most important things when you're making embeds is to do small batches. Um, I know that that seems counterintuitive because it's like, man, I need to make a gazillion embeds and so I'm just going to make a whole bunch at one time and just do a really big batch. The problem is that this has um, the ratio between the citric acid and the baking soda is pretty high and that tends to make it to where um, the mix dries out really quickly because it's reacting really quickly. So. That's something that you want to make sure that you're paying attention to and doing small batches. Um, obviously, you know, you're, you don't want to do too small because you want to get, <laughs> not waste your effort, but you want to just do, you know, batches that you can handle the size of them. This is about my size preference for a batch. Um, so, you know, you'll figure it out for yourself what you prefer. Um, but yep. And here I go. Once again, I'm just going to do another round of these. Now I have seen, I have done all different ways of, I've seen all different ways of using and making embeds. Um, I, this, this is the only way for me. <laughs> like, I mean, there's just so many different ways that you can do it. Okay. So I'm not saying that this is the only way on the planet. I'm just saying this is the only way that I prefer to do them. Um, uh, because number one, they're all going to be uniform size. They're all going to be um, a uniform height, width, depth, like very uniform. Um, it's easy. It's fun, which I know that it's like if it's not, if the work I'm doing isn't enjoyable for me, then it's not worth me doing, in my opinion. So, I, I mean, I'm if you're a handmade maker and you're doing this, you're doing this for you're not doing this to make a million dollars. You're doing this because you enjoy what you do and you want the process to be fun. And so. I feel like using this little embed maker actually makes making embeds fun. Um, you can do any other way that you choose though. I am just wanted to show you guys, this is the embed maker from Chunk of Dust and I love this thing. Um, I bought one a couple years ago and now I have two of them. I probably want to, I want to get more because I don't like having to wait um, between doing colors. So I'll do like all my cool colors with one of my embed makers and then I'll do my hot colors with the other one so that I don't have too much worry about the colors overlapping um, or having to clean out the little crevices between each color. Um, you'll also notice that the pink is really light, right? <laughs> Compared to the pink that the mix was before I added my citric acid. And that's because red dyes like this they um, and dyes in general they're pH sensitive so when I add the citric acid it's going to change the color of the little embed but over time as the little embeds cure the color will pop and be a lot brighter and so you'll see on the end picture that I show you um, what color they ended up being and how bright they ended up being I think they ended up looking really nice actually <laughs> and there I just kind of drop them at the end so like I said uh, I do prefer them to be like super systematic and nice and, nice and straight but you can just tump them if you want to there's my embeds aren't they cute here is how you can use embeds now these are blue embeds but yeah here's how you can use them you just bury them inside of a bath bomb just like so if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure that you hit subscribe and like so that you can see more of our videos. Don't forget to come visit us at bathfizzandfoam.com or our Facebook group, Bath, Fizz and Foam, Bath Bomb and Bubble Bar Support Group. And as always, happy making.